good thunderstormy looking morning. It's looking pretty crazy out here. Just came to the BMW service center and I literally just woke up and had oats so I'm still a little bit of sleep. Got here quick and I think while they service my car I'm gonna go train. So doing push pull legs ish for now. So let's go hit a leg day. Let's see how the back feels. going on guys bringing you this voiceover uh, of today's leg day so started with deads and squats I was able to work up to 225 with deadlifts without any discomfort in my back and squats with 185 paused at to me what feels like parallel but it looks a little high a lot of it has to do with my leg positioning how my knees are kind of forward and I try to keep a vertical shin but yeah I can't really reach parallel without a little bit of butt wink so I'm working on that the more I squat and pause approaching parallel, the better I'll get with it. Um, I was passing parallel, going past it, but my butt was winking a lot and that does not feel good on my back. So got to keep the spine neutral and keep the spine straight because it makes a big difference for how I feel when I squat and for most people. Anyways, so deadlifts and squats were good. And then I went on to the lying hamstring curl. For me, when I train legs, I always, always like to stimulate the hamstrings before I do anything. So for me to walk in and like hit a heavy squat, um, no amount of squatting is going to make me feel warmed up. I don't know if it's because of habit. Um, maybe I used to deadlift before squatting a lot in the past. I can't really remember. But all I know is that any time I squat, it is way less painful on any part of any given part of my body. If I deadlift before, my posterior chain just feels so activated. So that's just a tip for you guys. If you deadlift and squat on the same day, I like to do the deadlifts before and just not go to failure. Or just got to watch your lower back. So leg press didn't come out it was super blurry we were working with someone and it kind of got a little bit hectic so i just did the four plates for a set of 35 and then a set of 25 which was pretty epic i'm hoping that um even though my back isn't 100 percent that with volume good form i can still get good workouts in and i'm doing just that it feels like so stay tuned for the next vids they will be push and pull and i'll let you guys watch this calf training uh set here the way i got my calves bigger was training them three times a week four to five sets to failure with the seated and the standing, but five total sets, I would do that. Check it out. as hell I don't know what's going on down here at least it's still warm I got the car back she's got fresh oil a little bit overdue I change it every 7,000 miles so it's kind of a hassle but let's go home legs are trained wheels day now it's pancake time let's ride you guys already know the post-workout meal is going down pancakes then school it's the way it goes it's an exciting life it's the wait See, post gym way. I seriously have to do this right now. Wear a hat if you go to the beach. I think my head got burned. It stings, dude. I'm 
All right, guys, it's really windy. You may not hear me, but it was totally worth it for the extra large blood drive shirt. And now I feel kind of weird. So much blood. Blood pressure, I think, was good, 120 over 80. Hemoglobin, or iron, was good, like 15.7. So two girls after me couldn't get blood because their iron was low. That's none of my business.